Hey there, I hope you are having a nice day, wherever you are in the world. Today, we will explore limited length strings. We will create this colorful application. Every country in the world has a standard international three-letter code called an ISO code. ISO is short for International Standards Organization. When you select a country from the combo box, the program must load the selected country's flag and display it in an image component. The two panels under the flag must also display the ISO code and the country's name. Before we start, if you want to do the project with me, you will need the user interface and the pictures of the flags for each country. You can go to my Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash learndelphi to download the project starter files. I will post the link in the description of this video. I included a folder named flags in the root directory of the project. This folder contains all the pictures that we need for this project. The form's background is white to match the picture's background. I also already populated the items property of the combo box with a list of country codes and names. If you want to add more countries, just Google the country codes and the images for your own countries. You must add your own countries and codes in the combo box exactly in the same format as I've done it here. In other words, you must have spaces where I have spaces and hyphens where I have hyphens. Your pictures must also be saved in the folder called flags in the same way as mine, and it must be PNG pictures. Our code will only support PNG files for now, but later when you learn how to write conditional logic for if statements, you can also include other picture formats like JPEGs. So pause the video and go download the resources, then come back and do the project with me. Oh, and another thing, I'm using a free copy of Delphi 10.3 Community Edition. You may still be in time to also download your own free copy. I will also post that link in the description below this video. Here, I have the project open in Delphi in design time. If you have yours open, double click the combo box. Delphi links a new event handler to the on-change event of CBO countries. Go above the begin statement to declare a few local variables. Type var str selected item, comma, str country name, comma, str file as short string. Here, we declare three short string variables on the same line. The length of a short string can change dynamically depending on how many characters you assign. Short strings reserve up to 256 bytes in storage. The first byte stores the length of the string and the remaining 255 bytes are available for characters at one byte per character. STR selected item is a short string that must save the value that the user selected in the combo box. The value will not exceed 255 characters, so a short string will suffice. STR country name is also a short string that must save the country name. We will extract this value by using some of the string functions and procedures you explored in previous lessons. The country name will also be shorter than 255 characters, so a short string will be enough for our purposes. STR file path is also a short string variable that saves the path to the picture of the country's flag. The path will also be processed by using some of the techniques you explored in previous lessons. This will also be shorter than 255 characters, so a short string is perfect for that. Go to the next line and type this code. Notice how we append a bracketed numeral to the word string. In this case, we type the number 3 between block brackets. The length of this string will be limited to only 3 characters. In other words, Delphi will reserve only 3 bytes in memory. STR country code must save the standard 3 letter ISO code of the country. Because the ISO code is only 3 letters, a limited length string of 3 characters will suffice. Go between the begin and end statements. Type 3 comments to separate input, processing and output. Go under input and type str selected item colon equals cbo countries dot text here we read the text from the combo box and we assign it to the short string called str selected item the whole line that the user selected in the combo box will be saved in this variable that includes the country code the spaces the hyphen and the country name now go under processing and type this code Here, we assign the path to the flag for the selected country to the short string called STR file path. Remember, the flag is saved in a folder called flags and the file name is in this format. 
This is the same format that we use in the combo box, except that we also have a .png extension. So here we read the value we saved in str selected item, and we concatenate it with .png to get the file name and the extension. The file name and extension is also concatenated to a relative path. To point to the flags folder in the project's folder structure, we must point to the root directory of the project, which is three levels higher up from where the unit file is stored in the hierarchy. The first two dots point to the root directory. The dot dot that follows points one level down in the hierarchy. That is followed by the flags folder that contains the file that we want to retrieve. The path, the file name, and the extension is then assigned to the short string variable called strpath. Now go to the next line and type this code. Here, we use the copy function we explored in previous lessons to copy the country's ISO code from the short string variable called str selected. We are copying a total of three characters, starting at character 1. The substring that we copied will then be assigned to the limited length string called str country ISO code. Go to the next line and type this code. Here, we use the delete procedure to delete the first six characters from the string called str selected item. This will delete the ISO code, the spaces, and the hyphen from the variable. So the only part that will remain in the short string variable is the country name. Unlike functions, a procedure doesn't return the results to a calling statement. So str selected item is now changed, and we can use the remaining value, which is the country name, further down in the code. Go to the next line and type this statement. Here, we assign the undeleted portion of str selected item to the short string variable called str country. Now, the country code and the country name is separated in two different variables. Go under output and type this code. Here, we use the load from file method of the picture property of the image component to load the picture. This will display the picture of the selected country's flag in the image component. Go to the next line and type PNL country ISO code dot caption colon equals str country ISO code. Here we display the ISO code of the selected country in the caption of the panel called PNL country ISO code. Now go to the next line and type PNL country dot caption colon equals str country name. Here we assign the name of the country to the caption property of PNL country. Now let's run the project. The form starts up and it displays the world. Select Australia. Make sure you get the Aussie flag and the ISO code and country name in the panel components. And thank you to my Australian supporters on Patreon for your support. Select Netherlands. Thank you for your Netherland. Select United States. Thanks to my US supporters on Patreon. And now my home country, South Africa. Thank you, South Africa. Kia liboha, Africa Borwa. And Kosin Zanzi, Africa. Ngia Bonga, South Africa. And thank you also for those supporters from countries I didn't mention here. This was a fun project. If you found this lesson helpful, please consider supporting me on patreon.com slash learndelphi. Your support helps me to free up some time and to maintain my resources so that I can continue recording these lessons. It's okay if you can't support me on Patreon. You can still download resources from my Patreon page for free, but it will be delayed for a while before you can download. It will also help this channel a lot if you like and share my lessons with people all over the world. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive future notifications. Next time we will start with a series of lessons to explore numbers. Tot ziens, sien jou later, sala antle, sala kakuchle, hamba and see you later.